Hello, everybody. So today I'll be showing you how you can find a top end category of sales within nested categories. Let's say we have some of sales on the columns and region on the rows and subcategory on the rows. Now, <clears throat> I want to find the top n within each category. So within central region under subcategory, I want to find out the top 10. So let us let us add some of sales to the labels. <clears throat> so generally, what we would do to find out uh, top 10 categories, we would add subcategory to the filter and go to this <coughs> option called top and select by field top 10 sum of sales and we'll say apply okay but notice here this will not give us the proper result so how many marks we have here in the central? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have 10 marks here, but is it, is it uh, the right, um, is, is the result right? Let's check it out. So let me remove the subcategory out of the filters and check <coughs> chairs, are the top, then phones, binders, storage, tables, copiers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So appliances, still appliances. I should get in central. So let me add subcategory to the filters. Select top by field, sum of sales, 10. Apply. Okay. So I'm getting the proper result here. So I noticed that when I add subcategory into the filters and say top 10, I'm not getting the proper results. Let me result, let me show you. Um, this is where I have identified in the East region. So here are my top 10, let's say phones, chairs, uh, storage, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And in the South region, phones, machines, chairs, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. paper. So paper is my, uh, is uh, the 10th, is a 10th position in the South region. So if I add a subcategory to the filters and say top 10, so I'll select top tab and select by field. I'll select top and let this 10 be numbered, sum of sales and click apply. So, so this result seems to be correct. In the central, we have all the 10 marks. Here in the east region, also we have the 10 marks here. In the south region, too, we have 10 marks. But if you notice, papers was at the 10th position. But see, we don't have papers here. It says copiers. So th something went wrong. And our <clears throat> uh, sorting, like top 10 categories, the filtering of top 10 categories in the nesting uh, dimension is not correct if we do in this way. So there is another approach to find out top 10 categories. So let me create a calculation, name it as index. index. calculation now 
so this is a calculation that I have created. I will drag it over to the rows. Now this is a continuous field. I will make it a discrete and drag it in between. Now I can see, so these are the columns that are indexed. Now I need to create a table calculation so that my sorting, nested sorting between region and subcategory of top 10 is applied properly. So I'll do an edit calculation, table calculation, select specified dimension and I let these two be selected as is because we have we want to calculate the top 10 between the, these two dimensions. Then restarting level, I will select as region. So I want to start at the region level first and then I want to sort. I want to do a custom sort. So notice if I if I select if I keep these default options chair is coming first and second phones and then third binders and then storage so these we have already sorted that's why it's coming up in proper order but we need to set this order in the nested categories as well so i'll select sales and say sum of sales and I'll select descending order. So now we have applied the table calculation saying sort the sum of sales between uh, starting with region and then with subcategory and number it properly between one to how many, how much. Uh, data we have so it has sorted between each region now what do we have to do we need to filter out our index calculation so that we we can display the top 10 so i'll press control from the keyboard and drag this index calculation over to the filters and press ok so now notice uh, this is a discrete filter now we want to convert this to continuous so that we can easily provide the range of values. So I select one to 10, press okay. Now, if I go to my South region, see, I see the papers category appears at my 10th position. So this sorting is proper now, it's very correct. So now I can hide this index calculation so that it's, it looks prettier. So that's all. This is how we can apply top 10 uh, category. This is how we can find top 10 category um, between two dimensions. So if we show the filter that we have applied, and make it available to the users, they can drag it a little bit further to see top 15, they can drag a little bit closer to see top five, just the top five. So this is very good uh, calculation with which we can find top N within a category. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much for joining.